Hi, I'm Gemma Crow, and I'm going to show you how to create this beady bead that I've incorporated into this suite of jewellery. You can see lots of varieties there, the larger one at the centre of the beaded necklace, two for the earrings and one for a pendant. So all we need are really basic ingredients. We need some monofilament, which is a clear nylon thread, which is really strong and easy to thread through your beads. You'll need um, a shepherd hook, head pins and a jump ring. And then you'll need 14, to create the earring um, dangle, you'll need 14 of your bicones in the four millimeter size and some basic cutters for cutting your thread. Okay, so let's get started. What we need to do is cut ourselves a nice long length of monofilament, which will be around 40 centimeters. That will give you plenty to work with so that you've got a nice um, length to help you tie your knots easily at the end. So we're gonna lay out 12 of our beads here ready to go. And then first thing I'm going to do is thread three of my bicones onto the middle of the monofilament. So I'm gonna thread three onto the string, let it drop down to the center. And then I'm gonna take either end of the monofilament and thread it through an, a fourth of my bicones. So I'm going to thread one through one way and then through the other way. Take either side of the threads and pull them through and try and keep that sitting centrally so you've got equal amount of thread on each side. Now as we pull them like that, they'll go into a diamond shape and that's drawn them into a circle. So now what we do is we add to each side and then draw them through the center again. So I'll show you how that works. We take one side of our monofilament and thread on one of our bicones. Let that drop down next to the little diamond we've already created. Then take the other side of the monofilament, pick up another bicone, and let that drop down to meet the diamond shape. And then again, we're gonna take our thread either way through one of the bicones. And this completes our second little diamond shape. So threading through, and again, pull them nice and tight. Don't worry if they come loose, as you pull them, that will tighten back up again. So now we've got two hoops sort of connected, or two diamonds connected. We're gonna repeat that again. So again, picking up one for either side. So pick one. Let that drop down, take the other side, pick up another. Let that drop down again, and then repeat going through your last bicone in that series to create that, that third diamond shape. Okay, so we'll pull that down. And you can see it's starting to want to curl up. So if I straighten that out, you'll see you've got this row of this row of sort of three diamonds all sort of linked together. So now we're gonna put the last one on. You can see we've only got two left and it's always handy to have your 12 eye ready. It stops you going too far because it's easy to get carried away and put too many beads in. So if you've always got your 12 counted out ready on the board, you know when it's time to stop. So this time we're gonna pop one, one side just as before, one on the other side, just as before. And then this time, instead of putting the third bead that we're gonna double through, we're gonna take the threads through the first bead we put on, so that central one. So if I pick this up and straighten out, you can see it's this bead here, this very first one, that we're gonna take the thread through. So I'm just gonna take one thread from one side through that first bead, if I can find the thread, through there, Take that through. Now instead of taking the threads both ways through, I'm just going to tie this now so that it joins it together. Okay, so I've got it through that first one and now I'm just going to do a simple overhand knot. So I'm going to take my right hand thread over the top of my left hand thread underneath and pull it tight. So just an overhand knot, but take note of which side you did first. So to make that knot really strong, and I'm going to take the left hand thread over the top of the right hand 
through that loop and pull and that's going to give me a nice secure knot just in amongst that bead okay so there's our beady bead we've joined all those beads together and it's created like a little berry like feature now to hide the knot so that we haven't got um, bit tails of thread showing we're just going to start feeding that monofilament through the beads so that when we cut it we, we're not cutting it on the knot and those threads will almost disappear so just take them through a couple of times and if you are doing a larger larger beads because you can do this technique with any size um, bead and many shapes as well work really well rounds and um, symmetrical shapes work best but this will work with most sizes and if you are doing a larger size bead with heavier carat weight then you may want to go through a few times and do a few knots as well but for this size it's going to be quite secure like that now we can trim off the excess thread and our knots and threads are sort of will all disappear into that bead okay so we can use that now just as we would use any bead but for this design and using the bicones are lovely because they tessellate beautifully so for this design i'm just going to take a head pin i'm going to pop on another of my bicones and then i'm going to take that head pin through the beady bead it doesn't matter which which entrance and uh, you use so long as you exit opposite where you enter and then I'm going to take on another bicone. And then that gives us this lovely ornate detail for the bottom of our earring. So from here, to turn it into an earring or a pendant, I'm then going to take my flat nose pliers just above where that last bicone is, tilt that wire over to the side at 90 degree angle, and then trim the wire to around a centimetre in length. Then I'm going to take my round nose pliers, hold on to the very tip of the wire that you've just cut, and roll that over until you complete a loop. I'm just going to pinch that between my pliers just to straighten it up, make sure it's where I want it to sit. And then I'm going to open this loop, take a head pin, um, a jump ring, and pop the jump ring into the loop and close that back up and then let's make sure our jump rings fully closed by giving it a wiggle side to side and then I'm going to take my ear hook open the loop on the ear hook pop that jump ring into the ear hook and then close that up and there I've got a little beaded bead earring it's really quite glamorous <laughs> 